Hi, I'm Brandon. Enough quick video update here from our workshop in Sydney about the upgrades and modifications on the Toyota 86 or Subaru BRZ. And what we've got here today is the engine in its final preparation of getting the inlet manifold replaced for the supercharger system. And I want to grab this opportunity and show you what the engine looks like without an inlet manifold. We've taken the factory standard manifold off. I'll get my cameraman to come over. You can see the intake to the heads and down behind the valves, which obviously go into the engine. Now, this part here is the high pressure, high pressure fuel rail, which has got the balance pipe going to the other side, because remember, this is a boxer engine. Normally, the inlet manifold sits here with the intake coming through the throttle body at the front. And you can see these hoses over here are from the fuel delivery system, which obviously feed the high pressure system as well as the low pressure system that is designed to feed the design of this engine. Um, I'll just also, you'll see from the front of the engine here, we've got the alternator and the compressor for the air conditioning, which run the pulley system. By the way, if you're looking for a real quick, easy update, these components get and get replaced with a GFB aluminium pulley kit. Looks pretty cool and gives a little bit better throttle response because of the lighter reciprocating mass. Around here, you can see the uh, Bullet Supercharger Sprintex system with the supercharger on the top and the supplied uh, custom manifold. And you can see under here the seals that made up with the heads to fit and match up, which we showed you earlier on. And this is the original factory uh, plastic inlet manifold supplied by Toyota and Subaru. Similar design seal and things like that. So just goes to show you the detail of the difference in these parts when you're dealing with such a high quality kit as the this supercharger kit system. And on the side here, you can see here's the, the different injectors which are not part of the high pressure rail. This is the low pressure injectors which fit like a similar fuel injected system on say WRX and the SDI, different injectors but similar design because they're not direct port injectors. So there you have it, quick and simple upgrade to show you how to look at what your engine looks like um, when the inlet manifold is removed. Check out some of our other videos with turbo upgrades, supercharger upgrades with the dyno graphs and some power runs on our uh, dyno which will really show you what they sound like and of course what they look like. Check out our website um, for the dyno data for some download graphs and of course you can catch us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Make a comment here on our video channel wherever you're watching around the world. If you're looking for some upgrades, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Subaru, Toyota 86, GDR, Great Wall Turbo Diesel, Subaru Turbo Diesel, follow our rally car updates, you name it, there's a whole range of parts we're now offering for these cars. And my name is Brett Middleton. I do hope this helps you no matter where you are in the world. Bye for now.